All right, we're going to do a Churchill strat. I actually don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to kind of jump in and just have some fun with these things to start off. And maybe we'll do something a little weirder later on. I did have a boomerang in the uh, thumbnail there. So let's use a boomer as our part of our strategy. Boomer cannon. Boomer cannon. Boomer cannon. You know, honestly, mortar would be good, but I didn't go Striker Jones. So let's do something different. Let's go for an alchemist. It gives me zero cam detection. <laughs> Alright, we're just going village, I guess. That's fine. Alright, there we go. We're gonna do a cannon start. Whoop! There he is. Go for our frag, uh, quick frag cannon uh, combo. And uh, basically, I want to try to get my cluster cannon up as soon as I possibly can. But then after my cluster cannon, I think I'm gonna go max income for quite a while. Um, through the whites and everything, I believe. And say, screw the lives. I don't care about them for now. And uh, kind of get my hero flowing. It's kind of my goal. I should have gone Striker Jones to be completely honest with you guys, but uh, it's too late for that, so we have to do it uh, the way we've been doing it. Do I have a mom? I think pretty much, pretty much everybody has a mom. Um, they might not be necessarily still alive, but at some point they've had a mom. All right, we're doing a Dominations Fact right now. Oh, we still need to get a village flowing though, so we're gonna switch into just a little bit of reds. I kind of want him to rush me to be honest. Oh, we got a oh, interesting. We got a zebra rush coming out against us, but we are actually going to dominate that. Uh, dominated again. Is he gonna go for a camo rush? Let's see if he's gonna have no money left over. Let's continue with some, uh, yellows. He's gonna go for the rush. We're gonna get our quick radar scanner here. We're gonna boost it, obviously. Get Church's ability here. And we defend it like a boss. He sold everything! What has he got? He's got enough lead popping power here. Let's do a couple leads, a couple regen leads. Let's do a couple zebras underneath this crap. We're gonna blue boost this and see what he can do, man. See what he can do. See what he can do. It's a lot of balloons he's gotta defend. A lot of blues he's got to defend. A lot of zebras on the screen. Elite Master, to start off our day, gets demolished. Nice whoop, 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 whoop. Um, I don't really like Churchill on this map. There's no straight lines. So let's do something goofy. Let's go Oban. Why not? Let's go Oban. We're going to go Boomerangs again. Cannons are just so freaking solid right now, it's hard to go against them. And then I think we're going to do a Monkey Ace. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I don't know. I could go Mortars, but I just feel weird going Mortars without Striker Jones. All right, let's do it, though. This is going to be my cam detection. T bunches of balloon popping power and Moab popping power up the wazizzle. I think this is a good str good strat. I think this is solid. Let's give him a freaking tornado in his face. <laughs> Buff farms again? Are you kidding me? Farms are pretty good right now. Ooh. Got a dirty Druid player over here. Right, what we need to do is start. We're going to do a cannon start. I've been liking the cannon starts, man. Um, we'll put him on close here. Hopefully he hits this side, though. Looks like he is hitting that side. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. Believe it or not, I was telling you guys uh, in one of my other videos that um, I'm not sponsored by these people yet. So he's losing lives on purpose, by the way. Check that out. We want him to lose a lot of lives, though, actually. He's only going to have one Heart of the Vengeance Druid all day. I mean, I accept that. For shit. He loses a lot of lives. He's down to below 50 here. Holy crap. No, oh, my God. we got to get the Cluster Cannon here. Cluster Cannon. Go, baby. Go. All right. So, we got to get the bigger bombs as well. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to get it. It's going to hurt my income just a little bit. But you know what? I think it's worth to not lose a crap ton of lives like this guy did. All right. We're going to do the... Oh, we're going to do open. It's so weird to go a regular Oban without my other stuff going on in here. What's interesting is he's going full uh, spaced income right now, which is obviously pretty odd. I don't I don't know why. Uh, all right. Okay. Yeah, cannon mortar combo without Striker Jones is kind of stupid to be completely honest with you guys. And we're gonna go for just pinks pretty consistently here. I'm gonna throw down a low level boom boom. I don't wanna go cray cray with this guy, but I wanna go like a low level boom boom, just like one of these guys. Lay fast throwing and ooh, probably should have went red hot ranks, but it's too late. We're going for this guy. Got any advice for good first cars? Planning on getting one soon, and I don't have anything anyone else to ask for advice. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Um, first of all, I'll be straight with you. All right, I really wish that I could like give you the best advice ever, but. Um, I'm not, I'm not what I would consider a car guy. So, the best advice I can give you is, uh, uh, if you don't know anything about cars, specifically, don't go out and buy a car from a random person. Alright, buying from a random person, you're more likely to get screwed over. 
They could be like, oh yeah, there's nothing wrong with the car. It's fantastic. Runs perfect. And then all of a sudden, boom, she's zizzle bap. They freaking uh, trick the crap out of you, and there's... It's garbage fight. You know, you, you just never freaking know. So, if you're going for a used car, which I think you should as your first car, 100%, um, I would say try to buy it from uh, an actual dealer. Um, I've actually had reasonably good experience from places like CarMax and things like that. Um, generally, they give you a pretty decent, like, warranty on even used cars, like 10 days, 30 days, something like that. If there's anything wrong with it, you could return it, you know? Which is always good to have. You never know what's going to happen after 30 days, 31 days. It could die out. But I would definitely say go for a, a reasonably old-ish car, but not too old. You know, I, it depends on your price range. You know, my first car that I bought was... Uh, I bought a $500 car. I bought it off of my brother, which means that I knew kind of where it was coming from. Crap tons of dents, bunch of rust, all that crap all over the place. But at the very least, I knew where it was coming from, and the engine got taken care of, like, reasonably well. Sadly, the brake line broke on me. Brake line broke on me, and my car was worthless after about... Uh, about a year or so. So then my second car that I came around with, I, uh, I had for approximately 15 years or so. So, uh, believe it or not, the brake line on that car also broke. Just so happens that I have bad, like, bad luck with brake lines. But yeah, my, my best advice for you is you gotta buy something in the, the, like, what I would call the sweet spot. If you go too cheap, you could just have your car die on you, and you could end up with a bunch of really stupid um, uh, repair costs that you don't really want to have to deal with. Um, and if you buy something too expensive, then you're paying for the newness and the niceness of the car rather than a car that actually gets you from A to B. Your first car should always be a car that'll be that'll safely get you from A to B consistently. That's all you need. You don't need bells and whistles. You don't need anything crazy. Just get you from A to B. And then, you know what? Later on in life, if you want to upgrade or something like that, heck yeah, dude. Go ahead and upgrade. Another thing is make sure you take care of your car. It's so easy. So easy. Just to be like, ooh, uh, I don't really have the $30 for an oil change this week. Maybe I'll get it next week. And then a month or two goes by, and all of a sudden, holy crap. Holy crap. You, uh, you get smoked. So here we go. Hold on, buddy. I'll, I'll keep on talking to you in a second here. But before we get there, I'm going to go for another boom boom. We're going to get rid of this guy. We're going to go like this. We're going to get one boom boom down to bottom path here. I want to get a mob press. I want to make sure I can do something against mobs. And we're going to counter rush this guy. All right. We're going to counter rush this guy. Well, I don't even know if it's a counter rush, but we're going to rush this guy. No matter what, we're going to go for a double dose of mobs. I'm going to see if I can get my mob press up and still see if this is going to be enough to stop. He's not rushing me. He's not rushing. He's got an ice tower. We're going to balloon boost this. This might be his trouble for him. If he doesn't have a tornado wizard, this could be trouble. Oh, the crap. He owned it. All right. Never mind. Never mind. What happened? I am, I'm not really entirely sure, to be completely honest. I'm not really entirely sure what happened, but he, he smoked it. He smoked it. So We've got to keep on trying to go a little bit of income in here, but I still want to get ready for possible additional rushes. Uh, make sure you take care of your car, though. If there is something wrong with it or it starts to rattle or something like that, just be like, oh, it just does that. Go get it checked out or try to learn on your own, uh, on your own kind of what to do. Uh, so I'm not going to do any balloons underneath this. I guess I can go yellows. We're going to balloon boost this again, see if we can sneak this puppy through. Sneak it through, sneak it through! Yes! Yes, and there it goes! He put all of his eggs in one basket, and he was running with his basket of eggs, and he was so happy, he thought he was going to escape from the wolves behind him, and then all of a sudden he tripped, and he fell, and he fell on all of his eggs, he had nothing left over, man. All the eggs were smushed and crushed and gross and got all over his body and everything, and he couldn't eat them anymore. You never want to put all your eggs in one basket, guys. That's what this guy did. Too many eggs in one basket. Spilled them all. Life was terrible. I right, we got dry lucky. Hmm. All right, we're going to switch to Striker Jones because I've just seemingly really been liking the Mortar Cannon combo, so let's try to bring that up. Okay, so I've been liking the Cannon Start, but I'm going to switch it up just for the poops and giggles here, man. We're going we're gonna to do, uh, do a Red Hot Rangs Start. Yeah, let's do this. We'll do that, and then we'll do, since he's doing blues, this is actually going to work out pretty well, I think. We're going to go for the Red Hot Rings here. but boom Now we can pop through two layers in one shot. Beautiful. If he's doing reds against us, this does not help at all. This is actually horrible. 
but since he's doing blues, this works out really, really well. But greens, on the other hand, will be a little bit difficult for us. So we're going to hope that we can get this guy up in time. 1500 bucks. It's a little pricey, admittedly. Do I have any socials? Not really. Um, I used to have a Facebook, I used to have a Twitter, and I used to have an Instagram. And realistically, I find them all so annoying to try to keep up with. Uh, I actually was talking to uh, my wife the other day, and I was, she said that she wanted to take over my social uh, my social things. Because I actually, I do do things sometimes here and there. Uh, oop, 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 oop. Get going, buddy, get going! There we go. All right, we're finally catching up. So I used to post on Facebook a little bit. I used to post on Twitter a little bit. But honestly, it was really, really hard for me to keep up with. And I really feel like I get overwhelmed with, like, too much going on with all of the social media and all that stuff. I'm not that funny, I'm not that creative, so I just kind of chill with YouTube, and uh, it works out okay for me, you know. I right, we switching to straight-up pinks. Let's see how this goes. Okay, it's round five already. I think if I get a striker Jones, I think I can defend most of the white balloons here without too many issues. So let's do a striker. We'll throw him, uh, we'll throw him in, the, like, cover right over here. Yeah, no matter where we put him, there's not going to be perfect. It's good enough for me, I think. Red Hot Rangs, though, is being pretty beautiful here. I'm not usually a, a boomerang player, by the way. I'm usually more of a... I don't even have the fifth years unlocked all the way. That's how much of a boomerang player I am. Not much. All right, we got Red Hot Rings with this uh, black crap. Let's... You know what? Let's go for a mortar next. I think I might be able to, like, just kind of skip the cannon entirely. So we'll throw the mortar. We'll throw him kind of down in the corner here. Just kind of out of the way, I guess. And we'll, we'll throw the uh, signal flare down here. And I'm going to switch into whites again. And see if we can get a little extra income in here. I think 900 would be a really good number to get to. Did Ninja Kiwi ever send me an email saying they'll give you a custom name or something? No, I did not. I did not get an email about that. Though, I don't think I get any emails from Ninja Kiwi, like, at all. So, I don't think that really matters much. But I don't. All right, he's going to rush me with some zebras. <clears throat> We're going to go for a couple leads right here. Just for some extra income. I'm going to go for the signal flare here for my camera detection. A little on the early side. I'm going to continue to go a little bit of income, but nothing quite right. Um, right now, my defense is not impervious. I think what I want to do, though, is instead of going for a cannon, I think I'm better off actually going for a more glaives. Just say, that guy will for sure defend any kind of rush that comes out against me. Let's, in fact... Ooh, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he got going on? Just yellows. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I was afraid of a rush when I heard that uh, sell, but I think he just sold to get his dartling gun up. Now, believe it or not, this is not an impervious uh, defense here. This is actually a... Uh, uh, a thing that can kill him. So we're going to go for a quick this. We're going to go for a quick that. See what he does. Regen rainbows. Draw lucky. Causing some problems for him. He's going to lose a bunch of lives, but he does not lose the game. But he did force a battle energy on him. We got a bunch of money left over. We're going to go for a secondary rush here. And we won't have a battle energy this time. We're going to buy a second dartling gun. This time, I don't know. I want to go for it. We're going to go for another one of these guys. I'm going to go almost all out here, but we got to watch out for the counter rush. He's going for a bunch of whites here. There's a big regen rainbow rush. He's going to get a second dartling gun up, but will it be enough? To defend here without a boost. Draw Lucky. Try to defend, but those blues are going to go right through his defense. B-E-A. Beautiful. Uh, beautiful. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. Boomerang, Cannon, Mortar. This is like the perfect map for this, too. Heck yeah, dude. Let's pop on on this. Pop in on this. Uh, I'm going to tank the lives for now. Yeah, it sucks, but what are you going to do? Got to wait for our cluster bombs. Got it. All right, we got at least get hit bigger bombs. I'm losing a lot of lives here, by the way. I'm not a 66, 58, 55. Got to get my bigger bombs here. Holy crap. I don't want to waste my boost, though. Maybe I need a boost. All right, well, this is really sad, but I'm down to, like, 10 lives. All right, I got the heavy bombs. That's the good news. But at what cost, dude? 14 lives. It's so sad to see. All right, we'll try some whites here so we can get, get something through this guy. But right now, things are looking bad. All right, I will, I will tell you that. It's looking really, really bad. I have had a significant amount of my, my videos get demonetized over time, which is the weird part. We're going to boost this. Bloom boosted. He's going to have to boost back. This could be good for a big yellow rush here, depending on what he does. Yellows could be pretty dangerous for this guy. I might even do a regen yellow rush, depending on how uh, things go down here. Let's watch it out. All right, let's do that. Let's get a quick mortar flowing. Just a low level. One more white, one more white, and we're going yellows. Let's see what he can do here. Do I want to do any regens in the middle? Oh, I can't do regens yet. That's right. I'm going to balloon boost this again, though. Balloon boost. He's going to pop down a second dartling gun, but this could be dangerous for him. But us being down to 14 lives definitely hits us pretty hard. 
All right, uh, we're gonna run out of things to rush with, sadly. And he does defend, even with a balloon boosted yellow rush here. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna go for an early Bernie stuff here because I feel like poop can hit the fan at any point. Zebras, region zebras, all that garbage could be a major problem for us. We're gonna go for a, uh, I'm gonna try a region zebra like pink brush or something, you know? This is kind of like a weird situation to be in. We're gonna try like region zebra, double, double, pink, 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 double, double, pink, 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 region zebras, pink, 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 get them in the way. See what we can do here. We're gonna have to force a boost here on them. Good rush from us, baby. Good rush from us. Uh, our defense is pretty solid, though, and we force a boost right before a possible purple rush if we want to. If he doesn't have the money for Hydro Rocket Pods, he's doomed. Oh, he's gonna sell. He's got the Hydro Rocket Pods. All right, he's got it up. He's got it up. So this puts us in a uh, a smidge of a predicament, I might say. But it looks like I think I can afford a recursive cluster if he decides to rush me. Question is, will he? He's going for leads right now. I guess we gotta get some income in. Got to keep it flowing at least a little bit. Uh-oh, for Crystal Cluster. Boost it. Yes! And with our last boost, our last boost, we do defend, but at what freaking cost, boys? At what freaking cost? 800 income on round 13 is horrific. Oh, he's going to... Oh. I don't even have my second wrap reload here. Good thing is we were able to defend here still. All right, we're going to go for a counter rush, man. We're going to go for our, uh, our our regen rainbow rush, I think. I think we got to try it. Um, he's going to have a boost. He probably will defend, but you never know. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. A couple regen rainbows. I'm not going to bloom boost this one. Let's see what he does. He's going to boost it. He will sell all the farms for this, though. All the farms, and he gets a rocket storm. Oh, my beautiful goodness. All right, we got a Kelly Boomerang up. Got the boomerang. We're going to go for the Moab Press here soon. He's going to go for a Super Monkey for the Moab Popping Power. This is a great game, guys. Income is actually pretty fair right now. I've got to get my uh, Moab Press up here, though. Otherwise, I think I'm doomed. With a Moab Press, though, I might be all right. What's up, Tony? Hopefully, I have a grand old time. And you came at an exciting time here. A very exciting time. Oh, here we go. The Moab's coming out. Uh, we're going to go for the fast throw in here. He's going to... Oh, crap. I gotta boost this again. This is my last boost here, guys. My last boost. He's going hard on me. He's going hard, but we do defend. For now, at least. For now. All right, because I feel like he's just gonna be very aggressive here. We're gonna go for a counter reinforced Moab. Try to get an additional mortar up, I think. Because he probably doesn't have much money left. He just spent a bunch of it on those uh, that rush right there. Okay. Worst case scenario, I think I might try to get an artillery battery by selling this guy. Here we go. One reinforced mode. Let's see what he does. See if he's going to rush me with a reinforced mode at all. If not multiples. One reinforced. That's it, though. You know, with the Rocket Storm, he's probably going to be good, though. But if I was able to do multiple reinforced Moabs, that would be unbelievably dangerous. All right. Rocket Storm is gone, though. We're going to go for a one and a two. Ready? One and a two. Boom, boom. There's two of them he's got to deal with now. I got one balloon boost here. Let's see if he can pull this off, baby. Let's see if he can pull it off. He's got no more rocket storms. And these are grouped here. These are grouped. He's going to go for the laser vision super monkey. This is going to be a trouble for him, though. He's got no more rocket storm. Those balloons are going to be trouble. Can we stake him through? And we do. We take him down. There it is. Woo. Delicious. 